right? But you love a Canadian. Love one Canadian. Yes, one Canadian. <laughs> Okay, so a few days ago, Drake released a new album and there was one specific song on there called Bahamas Promises that caught a lot of people's eyes. Because in this song, he seems to reference the very brief romance he had with Hailey Bieber back in 2016. By the way, up until just today, I had no idea that Drake and Hailey were even romantically involved in any sort of capacity in the past. So this was a shell shock to me. So in the first verse of this song, he says this. Haley, it's sad that I know all the tea. Broken pinky promises you fucked up our Bahamas trip. So firstly, the spelling of Haley literally just gives it away. Like I, I could end the video here, but I won't. Because secondly, when he says that you ruined our trip to the Bahamas, it gets even weirder when you remember that Justin literally popped the question to Haley in the Bahamas. Meaning that Drake just revealed he had some sort of trip to the Bahamas planned with Haley. I know that you're not for me. Haley, I'm tired of your apologies. You put the no in monogamy. You know that you're not for me. And as Genius describes this line, the wordplay involving no in monogamy suggests that the relationship has been marked by infidelity or a lack of commitment. Now, the reason that people know that this song is about Haley Bieber and not any other Haley's is because there's just way too many dots that connect. Firstly, Justin Bieber literally did a remix of Hotline Bling by Drake. But in this song, Justin sings this. Try to run a game on me like it's just us, but I seen you in a Snapchat on his tour bus. When you hit my line, it don't mean that much. Now, why is that important, you may ask? Because at the time that this song was released, Hayley was uploading videos of herself with Drake on a tour bus. So, <laughs> if that isn't right on your nose, I don't know what is. But secondly, if you go to the annotations on Genius to find out the meaning of this song, it says this. We rewrote it to make it be more like him and Drake dating the same girl and then him finding out and actually talking to the girl like, I know you caught him on his cell phone. We decided let's remix it so this girl knows she's not going to come between two friends. And obviously, Drake and Justin have been friends for more than 10 years at this point. And Haley dated both Drake and Justin in the same year. So that's even more reason to believe that this song is about Haley. Now, in case y'all think I'm reaching, because I thought that this was a reach at first, there's literally pictures of Drake and Haley out at dinner together. There's literally a picture of Drake wearing Haley's necklace with her initial on it. And here's this picture of them two together in a photo booth. So obviously the history is there. One more thing, three days before Drake released his new album, Hayley posted this screenshot of herself listening to Jaded by Drake on his album released in 2018. And this is what Genius had to say about the meaning of this song. Jaded is about Drake feeling used by his love interest. The term describes a person who has been hurt so much that they've become numb to pain and indifferent about relationships. Now, I don't know if that has any meaning. It could probably just mean nothing and she just likes the song. But I thought that it was pretty interesting to mention. <sighs> okay, so do I think that Haley cheated on Drake? Absolutely not. Do I think that she didn't commit to him? <laughs> Maybe, dude. Because not only were y'all literally dating super casually at the time, so you guys weren't committed to each other, but... Haley was 19 years old. You were 29. You as a 29 year old should not be thinking of a 19 year old as your wifey, but hey, that's just me maybe. Also, if this song is about Haley, move on bro. Y'all dated for like a second, like seven years ago. Pack it up. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Mwah. I love you all so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!